Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to review a student's web page. So I had a student send this to me late last night. He's having some problems with some of the syntax on there, and it's new stuff, so it can be pretty tricky. So I want to kind of look over with a fresh set of eyes and see if we can't spot any syntax mistakes. Now on VS Code in the lower left corner, I do see it is bringing up an error. And it's telling me something a little bit crazy is going on at line 59, character 11. Um, and that's the only mistake it's registering. So if I look at line 59, we do see that there's an HTML tag and there's no closing angle bracket on it. So that's definitely an issue there. I'll go ahead and fix that while I'm here. The other good thing that we can use is an online validator by W3C. And so I'm going to jump over to my browser real quick. And I'm going to go to validator.w3.org. Now I'm going to validate by file upload because I've taken the student's web page code and just saved it all to my local. And I'm going to choose file. I'm in the right folder. I'm going to go to my student one HTML. That's the file in question. And um, hit the check button. Now, whenever you use these validators, you got to take them with a grain of salt because it's telling me we've got five mistakes. That doesn't mean there's really five mistakes, though. So what you need to do is focus your attention only on that first mistake. Fix the first mistake, revalidate, and then see what you get. Because one mistake can make it seem like there's other mistakes that follow up. So it doesn't like line one. It doesn't like the doc type definition. And I think I can see what the issue is. If we look at our doc type definition, it looks pretty darn good. However, should be an exclamation mark right in there. So we put that a little exclamation mark. I think I'm already saving. So I've got control S, I've got auto save on, that's fine. So what I can do now is I can go ahead and choose my file again, get my student one HTML, check it, and look at that, we've gone from five errors to three just by fixing one little exclamation mark. That's all it takes right there. Now, it also doesn't like that there's a uh, something on line three. I did glance at this before, so I did notice there is an extraneous closing HTML tag up there on line three, and that's probably what's causing these other mistakes. So if I look up here, sure enough, right there on line three, there's an extra closing HTML tag. And of course, when you're typing a tag in VS Code, it's automatically going to type the closing tag for you. That's usually very helpful, but keep an eye on it. Your closing HTML tag is going to be all the way at the bottom. Now we can see by the syntax highlighting that there's still something a little bit off. And so that can draw your eye to certain issues. And we can see right in here with these internal styles, there's a selector figure that was started, but nothing really came of it. So we can either just get rid of that, that selector, or if you wanted to keep it in because you were going to use it, Maybe go ahead and put in your curly braces, even though you may not have any properties in there. So I'm feeling a little bit better about that. There's no semicolon after color green after this declaration. That's actually not a problem, though. You don't need a semicolon at the end of the last declaration in a rule set. However, it's good practice, I think. So I'm going to pop that in there. Looking through the markup, things are looking pretty good here. Now I see there's an opening figure tag, but I don't know if I see a closing figure tag. Alt-Z, turn on the word wrap. No, it looks like our closing figure tag is missing. So I'm just going to go ahead and tack one on right there. Closing figure tag. The figure element is containing an anchor tag, which is a hyperlink to an image. There's the closing anchor tag. That looks pretty nice. Then there's a fig caption in there with a hyperlink and some text. That's all good. And then we have our nav. Now, there's a little mistake in the nav, which I see a number of students make. And basically, if you just grab the path from your file manager in your machine and your computer, you're going to get this really big, long path like this. And that's a mistake because when you upload this page to the server, the server doesn't know about this file structure. The server doesn't know about your E drive or the Johnny folder or the college folder or the fall 21 folder, or the CIS 195 folder. It doesn't know about that stuff. So if you're going from one file to another file within the same working folder uh, for your website, all you have to do is what you did here for about and hobby. So I'm going to take all of this out and I'm just going to leave it as style sheets onehtml Now, occasionally you might want to start with a folder name. You know, you'd have folder name slash or something like that, but one file linking to another file within the same folder, all you need is that file name. And that's the same thing goes for uh, an image. 
You know, if this was an image in the same location as the web page, it would just be source equals whatever that image is. Occasionally, though, we might have our images folder and then that kind of stuff. So keep it as simple as you can there. I think that might take care of stuff. Now, I've, already, I've got this on autosave. So let me head back to my validator. I'm going to choose my file. I'm going to grab my student one page and I'm going to hit the check button. And we've gone down to one potential mistake at line 36. It doesn't like something at line 36, column six. Bad character, probable cause, unescaped angle bracket. You know what? Actually, I think I saw this. When I looked at the page first on the browser, I did notice an extraneous little angle bracket up there, but I kind of forgot about it. So let me head back over. And sure enough, there it is on line 36. There's a little extra angle bracket right there. And uh, that'll take care of that issue. So now we have a... Uh, a fixed up home page. I'm not going to rerun it through the validator. I'm very confident it'll be perfect. But um, yeah, so there we go. I'm not going to share this one file with the student, but I will point out this video. And they've got a couple things to fix, starting with that doc type definition, get the exclamation mark, get rid of that closing HTML tag, um, get rid of, you know, do something about that extra CSS selector just sitting there close off that figure. If you open a tag, you're going to close it almost all the time. And uh, maybe clean up that hyper reference right there. And last but not least, make sure you got the angle bracket on that closing HTML tag at the very bottom and delete that extraneous little angle bracket that was around there on line 36 or so. Thanks for hanging out with me.